Nityanandam, my name is uh, Balaji. I'm from uh, Silicon Valley in California. I'm a Stanford and Harvard graduate, and I studied um, biology, computer science, philosophy and religious studies, and law. I tell you that because I wanted to establish a context of where I'm coming from, which is very much grounded in science, technology, empirical proof, so when I encountered Swamiji and the science and technology of the Agamas, I was profoundly moved because here was a complete step-by-step -step science and technology with frameworks, tool sets, environments, protocols, all geared towards raising our states of consciousness. And sometimes when we hear the word consciousness, it seems a bit abstract. Um, so I wanted to take this moment to tell you about my perspective on it and my experiences here in the past few months uh, with the Garba, which uh, Swamiji explained actually contains within it the God particle and can actually let us access the quantum field. Now all of that may seem like word salad, so I'll try to make it a bit more grounded. The first thing I wanted to state was that there's a profound science in the Agama that explores the 25 different states of consciousness, which you can visualize as a five by five matrix or a five by five table of rows and columns. And typically, we usually exist only in the first nine portions of that 25 portions of the states of consciousness. And this is what I call the prevalent consensus reality that we all experience. But there's a lot more to us. If we think about what we really are, and again, Swamiji explained from the angle of the Agama, we're really a collection of four networks inside. A physical network, physiological network, psychological network, and a neurological network. And just like with your iPhone or your Android phone, I'm not hating either on iPhone or Android, either of those two phones, you can constantly upgrade yourself, upgrade those networks using the signs and technology of the Agamas. So I wanted to share about two direct experiences I had, which for me was pure experiential proof that all of the science and technology described in the Agamas about the 25 states of consciousness and the ability of every human being to upgrade their internal physical, physiological, psychological, and neurological networks it is all true, and it's a profound gift to the entire world and something that every human being can take advantage of. Uh, the first experience I had was with using the Garba here to enter the quantum field and actually access information from the quantum field. Now, a lot of people in the field of quantum mechanics and physics will tell you that space is not a vacuum. Uh, it's not empty. It's actually information rich. And we can define technology as anything that harnesses the power of nature or information to make our lives better. So a friend of mine from Malaysia, Krishna, was sitting next to me, and he was projecting an image that he had in his mind onto the banyan leaf covered with Nyananjana, which is something that I was then expected to immediately read out from the state of my own mind. So what's exactly happening? my quantum field and his quantum field are being entangled. And I'm accessing his information from his space and directly cognizing it in my space. So he imagined and projected and visualized something that's unrelated to spirituality at all. Not related to yantras, not related to sadashiva, not related to anything. It was a picture of a painting that he had randomly seen one time in his life. And with the power of the Garba, I immediately and quite casually described it. Uh, it's a forest setting. There's a log cabin with a wood-burning fireplace. There's a gray wolf in the background. There's snow on the ground and a red fox walking away. Just like that, so casually. So from that moment, I thought, wow, I'm actually harnessing information from the quantum field without the use of any of my senses. So then... I, as a technologist and someone with the science and technology background, founder of a successful technology startup and technology investor, I'm always grounded in running experiments, wanting to test and push the boundaries of the possible. So I decided to use the Garba again 
to upgrade and program my muscle memory uh, in the same way that I was able to harness information from the quantum field. So that night, I went to sleep and held the cognition and held the garba and told myself that I want to program my muscle memory to effortlessly manifest two yoga asanas that I was having difficulty with the day before, uh, bakasana and shirshasana. Um, the next day, the next morning, during our yoga manifestation, sure enough, because I had used the garba to program my muscle memory effortlessly, I was easily able to do bakasana and get into shirsasana. So, what I want to leave all of you who are listening, if I want to leave you with one message or statement, it's that upgrading your entire self from 1.0 to 2.0 to 3.0 to 4.0 endlessly is possible. It's easy. It's effortless through the science and technology of the Agamas that Swamiji is sharing with us. If you're interested in wanting to upgrade yourself and experience your peak potential, if any of you have ever seen the movie The Matrix, there's this character Neo that goes back into The Matrix now with this new knowledge, and he's able to effortlessly play with The Matrix, play with that prevalent consensus reality, able to easily manifest any desires and movements he wants. If any of you is at all interested in this, any of you who are watching, do come to Sadashivoham 2016 and experience this profound science and technology for yourself. Thank you, Nityanandam. Thank you.